Hi guys, it's April and with Mother's Day coming up, I thought it would be interesting to go back and look at some pretty awesome moms in literature. Now I will admit this isn't my own idea. It's actually a top five Wednesday topic. I will leave all the information down below in case you're interested in finding out more awesome moms or if you've created a list of your own that you want to share, I'll leave all the information down below. And without further ado, I will get into the moms that I think are freaking awesome because they are. So the first mom that I want to talk about is actually two different individuals, and that is Aunt and Katrina in Spindle's End by Robin McKenley. This is a Sleeping Beauty retelling, and of course, at one point, Sleeping Beauty is taken from her home and raised by a couple of other individuals. And in this story, those individuals are Aunt and Katrina, and they are awesome and wonderful and loving, so I thought they needed to be in this list, and if you haven't read this retelling, um, do it. I just think what makes these two individuals as awesome as they are, they aren't her biological mother, but they treat her very much like she is their daughter. There's a lot of love and trust and learning and growth within these individuals with their pseudo-daughter Rose, and I just, I like it. I like it a lot. The next mom that I want to talk about is one of my all-time favorite characters, and I had to add her to the list because I love her so much, and that is Sorsha and Son of Shadows by Juliet Merlier. This is part of the Seven Water series, and I absolutely love the Seven Water series. You first meet Sorsha in Daughter of the Forest, which is one of my all-time favorite books, but in this book, she grows up and you meet her daughter, so you get to see her from a different point of view, and just how loving and open Sorsha is, and some of it is because of her backstory and what she's had to deal with growing up, but she is such a pillar of the family and she is so strong. There is a lot of things that I want to go into. I don't want to give spoilers, but I love her as a mother. The next mother I want to talk about is, it's gonna be hard to talk about her because it's just, it, there's a lot of spoilers in talking about her. I'm not even gonna give her name because her identity is part of the whole storyline. I, I don't even know how to explain this. I don't know if I'm explaining this right. I'm not. And that is Dalinar's wife, the mother of his two sons. She, I can't tell you much because you don't get to learn a lot of it until way later in the Stormlight Archive series by Brandon Sanderson. I don't think I mentioned that. But I just mentioned that now. You don't get to learn a lot about her because there, is, there are some things going on, but when you do learn about this woman, oh my goodness, she is, yes, there is a lot of mm, 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 mm. If you haven't read the series, you really, really, really need to read this series. There are a lot of very strong females in a lot of Brandon Sanderson's work, and Dalinar's wife is one of them, so yes, this book, this series, this woman, I don't even know how to give you any more words to tell you how, yes, she is an amazing mother. And you guys might laugh at me for this next book, but I have to mention Charlotte from Charlotte's Web, okay? Because this is the first mother that came to my mind when I started thinking about this topic because this woman mothers a pig. She never gets to meet her own children, but she has so much love for them. Ah, this book. This story, I can't talk about it anymore. I'm tearing up. This is stupid. I'm done. And the last mother that I want to talk about is Kate Murray in the Recall in Time series. She is such a strong individual. Of course, she's a microbiologist, which makes her amazingly smart to begin with. But the way she mothers her children, she lets them be who they are, find themselves, and continue to develop their brains in ways I. I <laughs> this woman is a great mother. She lets her children be who they are. That is what I am trying to say. And for that, I find her amazing. Plus the fact that her husband disappeared and she still carried on mothering her children. So there is a lot of strength in being a single mother. So she made it to my list because yes, she's amazing. So those are a few of the amazing mothers in literature that I wanted to mention to your faces. Tell me down below some of the amazing mothers that you have read about because I wanna know. I just do. Just tell me down below and I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.